Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of FCOG Gaming with a brand new playthrough of RimWorld, as you can probably gather from the title. Uh, this time, we are playing through with Brunella, Brunella, I think, a uh, security company, uh, which is a mod pack that has been posted by Brunella. Um, basically, uh, I'm going to link to it in the description, uh, but we have uh, armor cross, armor crafting, uh, bionic crafting, embrasures, mandible turrets, medicine kits, uh, multiple independently re... I, I don't know what that is. <laughs> uh, oh, artillery. Okay. Um, neuro trainer, non-decaying storage, replacement organs, training rack, and weapon crafting. And hopefully I will survive long enough to get into most of these. Um, so, like I said, I'm going to post to the forum uh, post on here, or link to the forum post. Man, I cannot talk for some reason. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, and uh, that has links to the actual mods that are the individual mods in the mod pack. And uh, yeah, if you want to install it for yourself and play through, have at it. So we're going to close that, and I'm going to start a brand new colony once this gets out of here. Um, I think I'm going to stick with uh, Cassandra, and we're going to go rough, uh, just because, like I said, I kind of want to survive for a little while, and uh, yeah, I'm... I don't know if I'm good enough to actually play on challenge, so let's go ahead and uh, go next. And this is a brand new world that I created uh, with these mods installed. And I was thinking a desert playthrough because I usually go through bio or through the uh, tundra tundra bio. Uh, so we'll. I do want to have a growing season just to give a little bit of a challenge. <clears throat> Otherwise. Food rationing really isn't a thing. Uh, so, why is there tundra like? Oh, because the mountains. Okay, that makes sense. All right, so March through October, growing season should be okay. We're gonna go with small hills, uh, just so there's a decent amount of minerals, but we don't have to actually dig into the mountains to uh, build stuff. Which actually might be a little bit more of a challenge in the desert. But uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and select a site. And who do we have? We have Trigger, who's a sergeant. He's got shooting melee. A decent amount of social skills. Um, a high, pro well not proficiency, but a passion for medicine. And a passion for crafting. I think we're definitely going to keep him around. Uh, he is trigger happy. But, uh, yeah, we can supply him with, like, an Uzi or something like that. Uh, chemical interest isn't the best, but it's almost a positive, because when they do break, they tend not to go on berserks. So, uh, there's that. And Cold Lover. Sorry, bud. Uh, Chalice, who's an herbalist, has a passion in a lot of things, which is great. Uh, medicine, animals... Shooting in melee, she's decent at. Uh, she might be a good secondary hunter. Uh, construction growing is... She's definitely going to be our gardener. Um, mining, artistic, she's a very valuable colorist. Uh, she is also trigger happy, a psychopath, uh, which basically... That's actually kind of a positive. So... Uh, yeah, and Green Thumb, which definitely goes in with her growing. Uh, so Scott. Oh, I might have to re-roll Scott. Decent amount of shooting and melee. Uh, good social. Incapable of dumb and skilled labor, though. So... Yeah, I think we're gonna, we're gonna re-roll Scott. Alright, so we have... Nerhesi? Ner... Ner Nurisy? Nurisy. We're gonna go with Nurisy. Uh, she's definitely good at melee. Social animal. Wow. Good root. Reroll. Brawler. Uh, cannibal. 
Okay. So, uh, yeah. May have to keep that in mind. So let's go ahead and start with these guys. A uh, pretty good group of colonists there. And we are going to be generating a map as far as my, or as fast as my first generation i5 can handle it. Which isn't, incidentally, isn't that fast. Anyway, um, we wake, we wake, we're on a rim world. Okay. So I do have alternate art installed that's kind of left over from when I was trying out a different mod pack. I'm just going to go with it. Uh, if it bothers you, I'm sorry. But uh, I don't really know how to get rid of it without reinstalling the entire game. And I don't really want to do that. So let's pause first off. Uh, let's figure out where we're going to be. There's a lot of sand. Which does not bode well for growing things. Um, I mean, if we're strictly going for growing things, over here would be probably our best bet. But, I'm not strictly going for growing things. I'm going for protection as well. So I think this might be... Can I even build on sand? Let's test this out. Apparently I can. Oh. Okay, um... So I think I'm gonna start building over here, and this over here will kind of be our little patch of uh, farmland. Hopefully that'll be enough for us. Yeah, so... Uh, let's go ahead and set a stockpile. Uh, Do a nine by nine for right now, and let's go through and unforbid all the things, which is always tedious. All right, we got a decent amount of stuff unforbidden there. Uh, let's assign weapons. Uh, which you were the secondary hunter, so you're going to have this one. Mercy is melee, so you're going to have a knife, and you will have the survival rifle. Beautiful. Beautiful. So I think we can, uh... Oh, we also have animals. I'm assuming. Spike. Our lab. Uh, let's go ahead and set training for him. And we're going to set hauling for him right away. <coughs> Excuse me. Um... Oh, I also need to set work priorities. So we're going to do manual priorities. Uh, everybody's going to be a firefighter. Everybody can flick a switch. And, uh, let's see here. Oh, we actually have... Pretty good in the way of uh, doctors. So, and everybody's going to be a patient. Uh, warden. Let's get... guys with the skills. I know you have a passion for it, but uh, yeah, you're not going to be great. Uh, handling, Nersi is definitely going to take care of that. We can uh, have Chalice be our secondary handler. Uh, cooking, nobody has good cooking skills. Nobody even has a passion for it, so I think what we might have to do is uh, just go with a nutrient-based meal until we get somebody else. We'll see though. Um, let's go ahead and pause. The, well, yeah, we'll pause it. We'll just set this. All right. So Trigger's gonna hunt. Uh, Nursey's gonna hunt. No, you. Nursey's the brawler. So Chalice is gonna hunt. Nursey can construct and repair. Chalice can grow and mine. Everybody can plant cut. Because that's not going to be all that often that that happens. 
Uh, who wants to be my designated crafter? Probably Nursey. Alright. So, uh, we will set all of your stuff to two. Uh, people with passion for art can go ahead and do art, and uh, Trigger can do crafting, but not smith and tailoring until he's level six, I think. Um, <clears throat> All right, so Trigger is going to be, since he's not assigned to very much, I'm going to have him be our main cleaning person. Oh, and Chalice, can, or Mercy can be a researcher. Yeah, he'll be level two. Um, Trigger's going to be our main cleaning person, uh, just because he's not assigned to very much. And everybody is going to be a hauler. And I'm going to actually set that as a level one task. And uh, the reason I'm doing that is because I, I was watching uh, Quilly Teens play, playthrough. Great channel, by the way. Uh, you should definitely check him out if you like my stuff. Uh, he has... Well, he's definitely a bigger YouTuber than I am. But he uh, plays very similar games to the ones that I like. So... If you enjoy my channel, you're more than likely going to enjoy his. Um, so, yeah. But uh, anyway, he was playing, and he made the, the point that if you have stuff to haul, you want that stuff hauled right away so that the uh, characters aren't going way across the map just to get some food or something to that effect, which is a very good point. So I'm going to try that out with this playthrough. I think most of, that's most of the stuff that's uh, flagged for forbidden. We'll do a better uh, better sweep here in a second. Let's go ahead and get some uh, some sleeping spots down. I think for the most part right now people are are going to be sleeping out in the open, but uh, they'll just have to deal with it, I suppose. Alright, so we do have some gold kicking around. Uh, we have... This mod does not, as far as I know, change the uh, way that you get materials. I think it just changes what you make out of the materials. Which is fine. Uh, let's go ahead and flag all of this wood to be chopped over here. Uh, we are also going to want to start some structures here. Can that be made out of anything else? Sure can. Alright. So, we do have some structures here. But I don't think any of them were really big enough to use, unfortunately. So, like I said, we're going to set down some growing zones here. Now let's go ahead with um, 4x7, which is typically what I use. Just have a few different plots here. Get that a little bit more centered there. And not everything has to be potatoes. One can be a potato. Uh, let's go with corn. It's kind of weird to be growing corn in the desert, but that's fine. Uh, strawberries. And then let's go with some cotton and some medicinal plants that totally isn't weed. I like to imagine that it's weed. <laughs> I don't even smoke weed, but it's just funny to me. Um, anyway. Yeah, so that should be a pretty good start. I think what we're going to do, uh, as far as buildings go, first off, is... 
kind of our kitchen area. But since nobody really has a skill in cooking, uh, what I'm going to do is set up a nutrient paste dispens dispensary. Oops, wrong button. Uh, uh, do I want it right there? Let's go ahead and put this, uh, dang it. Hitting the wrong button. Uh, let's go ahead and put this down here, I guess. And then we can kind of, uh, build a, uh, building around it. That's the word that I'm looking for. So let's go ahead put that there. This here, and then room for the hopper. See, I usually don't even bother with nutrient paste, but uh, since we don't have any skills, I figure why not. So we'll do that, and a wooden door. And then uh, we're probably going to want some electricity for that at some point. I would imagine. So let's go ahead and uh, while we're at it, let's just get a couple solar panels hooked in together. Actually. Put those a little bit further apart, like yes, so. And then we're gonna conduit up there and up there. I actually want another door right there, and then we can uh, kind of set up a food stockpile right there. It probably won't be refrigerated right away, but. Uh, yeah, it's probably a good idea to have something like that. So, let's go ahead. Wooden wall. Wooden wall. Okay. Uh, let's just do something like that. Should be fine. And then we are going to set a stockpile zone right there. And storage is going to be clear all, and you are going to be important. Um, foods, yeah, all foods, and then animal courses. <clears throat> and we can set the hopper priority once it gets built. So let's go ahead and speed up time for a little bit. Uh, this is going to definitely be my priority for our first building. Oh, we also probably want a battery. At least one uh, in there. Probably around that conduit over here as well. Maybe a light or two. Go like there and a light there. Awesome. So. I don't know how to clear this shit out over here. I don't know how to do all this shit. Anyway. So, people are still hauling. Maybe I shouldn't have hewed. Maybe I shouldn't have put everything as unforbidden. But, I think in the long run it's actually going to be a good thing. actually set up a uh, butcher table as well. Did I not like that to be chopped down? I did. I guess not. Alright, so... Maybe hauling everything first wasn't the greatest idea. 
Well, actually, I don't think it's a bad idea, but I think I shouldn't have unforgiven everything right away. Oh well, live and learn, right? Why is he sleeping so long? Lazy ass. Sleeping into 11 in the morning? You got shit to move around. It's not like you're comfortable, you're sleeping on the dirt, man. their hauling is getting further and further out. Which means that they're starting to run out of things to haul, I would imagine. <coughs> Excuse me. Hopefully we're not running out of food. I think we'll be okay. Uh, once we get settled in. I should probably, well, I don't think it's worth uh, flagging the stuff to hunt right now. But actually, speaking of hunting, I should probably set down a butcher's table right away. Uh, can I make that out of wood? Do I have enough wood? Sparland? Whatever. Let's make it out of... let's make it us. Let's make it out of steel. Okay. Still requires some wood, but I guess it's mostly steel. Alright, so it looks like we must be done hunting. We're not hunting, hauling. Because the other stuff is getting done. So that's definitely a good thing. Uh, once we get this kitchen slash food storage built. I'll feel a lot better. Then we can kind of get a handle on our resources and see, uh, see what we have to do there. Alright, so we got our butcher table already. Visitors already. Well, let's set a bill here. Butcher creature. Do that forever. I always want you butchering creatures, no matter what. It's the end all be all. Whatever that's supposed to be. Alright. So hopefully soon, we'll get this roofed in and we'll get our nutrient paste dispenser and all that good stuff. Do have a battery? Which is good. I don't have anything built to make power, but uh, yeah. Okay, so power priority is important. I want to make priority critical on both of these. <clears throat> Excuse me. And that should already be. Configured, right? Oops, dang it. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be pre configured for everything. Which is great. Let's go ahead and uh, just put this guana just so that we have some uh, something in the hopper. Animal. Mega Scarab. Scarab. Okay, uh, let's flag him for hunting and see what happens. Looks like he's actually attacking one of our visitors. Yeah, one of our visitors died. Cargo pots! <laughs> uh oh, dog meat. I guess meat's meat. Um, let's go ahead and unforbid him, and we will strip him. I'll 
we need a dumping stockpile, don't we? Let's go ahead and mine this out really quickly, and then we can uh, set dumping stockpile right here. And we should probably build a grave for that dude. the graves. Let's go ahead and put them out here, I guess. Yeah, why not? So we'll have a grave for that dude. We'll have his clothes. Hopefully uh, this faction doesn't get pissed off at us for letting him die, because it totally wasn't our fault. More wood as well. Okay. Get those cacti out of the way. And uh, just so you guys know, uh, I am a aiming for 20 minute episodes with this series, but uh, I usually let the first one go a little bit longer uh, just because there's all that set up and everything. So I want 20 minutes of gameplay, basically. <clears throat> so. So we'll probably end this one here in a few minutes, but uh, I do want to at least get our kitchen set up. Hopefully we'll be getting our uh, solar panels set up as well. But we'll see about that. Um, should. Let's go ahead and make her cooking a level 2, just so that everything that gets killed actually gets butchered, especially since we don't have refrigeration right now. I feel like that would be good. actually have me. Oh, that's fucked up, man. You're feeding our Labrador Retriever, Labrador Retriever me, to make him obedient. It's fucked up. I do not endorse that. Oh, wonder. Okay. So, let's look at this dude. Hinton. And, uh, actually, there's quite a bit of steel out here. But we'll look at him. Hinton here. Uh, he's a doctor. Sweet. Uh, has a passion for mining, art, research. Heat lover, which is probably really good in this environment. Uh, let's go ahead and set work for him. He can firefight, he can doctor all day long. Uh, he's patient. We are not going to be short in doctors on this playthrough, which is great. Uh, handle, we can leave him at a three. That's fine. Uh, cook, we're actually going to bump you up to our cook. Hunt, no skill at. Construction, no skill at. Grow, we have some skill at. More than most people. Let's make that a level three for you. Uh, mining, we'll put it level 2 since you have a passion for it. Uh, plant cut, you're going to be number 2 with everybody else. Art, you'll be number 2. Uh, crafting, you can just have on there, that's fine. And researching. Alright, who is... Why is Spike... Broken? Oh, he's demented already? Oh, he's 12 years old. Mm. It's not good. Kind of makes me sad. Anyway, um, yeah, I think I'm going to put a cut in this episode. Seems like a good place to do it. Should probably put a bed down for a. Uh, for a new dude. But anyway, 
Um, if you like this video, you want to see more of this video, please hit that like button. Um, first video of any series, that's most important video to like. So if you're going to do it on anything, do it on this one. Uh, if you stumbled across this video and you want to see more of this series or other series that I'm doing, uh, please hit that subscribe button. And as always, remember to take care of yourselves out there. And thank you so much for watching. Have a good night.